Well, as you have been able to see and hear, the Republic of Croatia has earmarked uh, a lot of funds to ensure the integration of the Roma minority because we all know that if you don't have the money, if you don't have financial support, you cannot achieve anything and we have really uh, made a lot of progress there. And uh, as you have heard, this is the second time that Croatia has a member of uh, the parliament uh, from the Roma national minority and I would like to welcome uh, Mr. Kajtazi. Dear representatives of the countries that are part of the decade, uh, dear representatives of the Secretariat uh, and the country's partners of the decade, uh, members of the steering committee and the Commission for the Monitoring of the Implementation of the National Minorities Program in Croatia. The ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you on my own personal behalf and on behalf of the Roma minority in the Republic of Croatia. It is a great pleasure that I am able to participate in the 23rd International Steering Committee meeting of the decade of Roma inclusion 2005-2015. This is the first, de first meet meeting since uh, Croatia took over the presidency. I hope and I believe that Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, will be a fitting host for this uh, august gathering. The Roma minority in Croatia has great expectations of uh, the Croatian presidency of the decade. Not only because uh, we were looking forward to an opportunity for the Republic of Croatia to be the lead country of the decade for the following year, but because we have hoped and we still hope that Croatia's presidency will give a strong impetus to the effort to solve various and numerous problems that the represent members of the Roma minority face in Croatia, and that Croatia's presidency will make it possible for the general public in Croatia and Europe to gain a more intimate knowledge of the problems uh, that Roma face. When we meet again one year from now at the 24th International Steering Committee meeting of the decade, we will be able to say whether our wishes and expectations have been met. The position of the Roma in Croatia has been improving steadily, but in recent times, we have had some serious incidents, such as the assault uh, on the Roma family in Škabrnja, in the Zadar County, and the effort to prevent the Roma children from attending preschool classes in the Međimurje County. It is of great concern that a large number of people took part in the assaults, but it is encouraging to see the state authorities take action. In Međimurje, the local authorities also took action, showing that the position of uh, the Roma in Croatia is far from the ideal and will call for additional effort to eradicate prejudices against the Roma community. The Roma community in Croatia and I, as its elected representative in the Croatian Parliament, have been very active in preparing uh, for Croatia's presidency of the decade. In this effort, uh, we have held several consultations with the representatives of the Secretariat of uh, the decade in Budapest and in Zagreb. And we have been able to attend the 22nd International Steering Committee meeting in Skopje where Croatia was, uh, took over the presidency from Macedonia. And I would like to uh, thank uh, Mr. Nezad Mustafa from Macedonia and the whole, of the whole Roma community in Macedonia for their successful presidency and to thank them for their hospitality.
The Croatian government has recognized the importance of the decade uh, for the integration of the Roma minority and in preparation for the presidency has uh, made a great leap forward by setting up a special committee for its presidency in such a way that Mr. Neven Mimica, the Deputy Prime Minister, is the president of the committee. And the fact that the com committee includes the Roma Member of Parliament and a number of other representatives of the Roma minority. This is a great step forward that we really appreciate and this is an example of uh, good practice that should be followed by other countries. It is only through partnership between the state authorities and the representatives of the Roma minorities is it, able, minority, is it, able, is it possible to achieve the goals of the decade. Of course, there usually is opposition and dissatisfaction when such steps forward are effected because some people would not like to see the Roma minority as partners. They would like to see them as objects, not subjects. The Roma minority in Croatia and I, as its representative in the Croatian parliament, will make everything we can to ensure that the Roma are recognized as equal partners in each and every process, especially in the decision-making process when it comes to decisions that directly affect the Roma community. And this is uh, the goal that we have set, but we cannot say that it has been achieved. In the countries, members of the decade, Romas face uh, great problems. Despite the support of the EU and despite uh, the fact that the Roma institutions and, its legal rep and their legal representatives have to get better organized. Roma minority has lived in Croatia for centuries. They have contributed to Croatian culture, music, economy and society as a whole. Over the long years, Roma the Roma people have shared the fate of other peoples and they have faced uh, additional problems and challenges so typical of uh, the life of the Roma community in Europe and elsewhere. The most painful episode uh, in, Roma, in the history of Roma community in Croatia was the years between 1941 and 1945 when the Croatian regime implemented a genocide against the Roma community. And this year, we were able for the first time to commemorate the uh, Roma victims uh, at the site of the Yasenovitz concentration camp, where 16, over 16,000 Roma victims were killed, including over 600 children. I take this opportunity to offer public support to uh, Liva Jaroka, MEP, and she wants uh, the 2nd of August to be uh, declared the day of uh, remembrance of the Roma victims in Second World War. And I would like to call on your support for this initiative. Unfortunately, the suffering of the Roma in Europe in the Second World War has not been sufficiently researched. Roma victims are not identified. They have not been buried. And there are very few uh, memorials marking uh, their uh, ordeals. The increasing number of racist uh, attacks has uh, forced us to put this on the agenda of Croatia's uh, presidency of the decade. Education is one of the key issues for the Roma minority. Many other countries uh, that presided the decade in the past have paid special attention to that and uh, they will continue to do so in the future. 
We would like to place the focus on the Roma language, not only as a key element of the Roma identity, but also as one of the key elements of the educational process. Because if we want to achieve the European goal that by the year of 2020, each and every Roma child is in elementary school, and if we do not uh, ensure that they can do so in their language, we will not have integration, we will have assimilation. The third element is the youth. Most uh, middle-aged and elderly Roma do not have adequate education and as a result they are unemployed and on social welfare. The young people are our, our final chance to change the position of Roma. Unfortunately, the young Roma are usually not a focal point of various uh, action plans and so on that want to improve the position of the Roma minority. We would like uh, to stress the importance of uh, greater representation of the Roma young people, especially Roma young women. To achieve that, most Roma activists and political representatives of the Roma community will have to be young people who are familiar with new technologies, who speak uh, English, and who will bring energy that is so characteristic of the youth. Given the recession and the economic problems that most countries face, solving the problems of the Roma minority is going down on the list of priorities uh, in most countries. And this is why it is very difficult to, th this is why it's very important to tap the EU funds this will be one of the key uh, goals of Croatia's presidency. There are other important uh, areas where the position of the Roma minority can be improved, but uh, we cannot address them all in the one year ahead of us. It will be a historical year because we expect that on the 1st of July 2013, Croatia will become the 28th member of the EU. This will be an opportunity for Croatia to increase its efforts to improve the position of the Roma minority, not only in Croatia but in the EU, and to be an example of good practice for the countries of our region. And this is indeed one of the topics on our agenda. Thinking about the future of the decade, I think it uh, will, we will have to discuss how to expand the decade to include other countries such as Turkey, Moldova, Russia, Finland, which have a large uh, Roma community, and I hope that uh, they will join the decade during Croatia's presidency. Thank you very much for your attention.